السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی آر فرام گروپ ای سیکشن فائیو ول لائک ٹو شیئر اباؤٹ انڈسٹریل ریولیوشن فور پوائنٹ او ان ملیشیا انڈسٹریل ریولیوشن از ڈیفائن ایز اے فورتھ جنریشن انڈسٹریل وی مینوفیکچرنگ سیکٹر بیکمس ڈیجیٹلائز وتھ بلڈ ان سینسنگ ڈیوائزز ورچولی ان آل مینوفیکچرنگ کمپوننٹس آئی آر فور پوائنٹ او از امپورٹنٹ فار ملیشیا بیکاز اٹ ایڈیبلس ٹو بوسٹ پروڈکٹیوٹی ایکسپیشلی ان مینوفیکچرنگ سیکٹر and the speed of innovation can be increased with the aid of IR 4.0. Thus, it makes Malaysia one of the globally competitive country. Not only that, quality and flexibility of the products can be increased too. A natural IR 4.0 policy is needed to create a new narrative for Malaysia as an innovation economy that can compete in a disruptive technology world. Such a policy will support emerging technologies such as blockchain, AI, IoT and robotics which are all essential tools in the new Malaysia 4.0 digital economy. This industrial revolution 4.0 has its own positive and negative impacts toward Malaysia. The positive impacts are increase in employment opportunities, increase in GDP as the production are faster and easier, Humans don't have to do heavy physical tasks and the cost of production is cheaper as the cost of technology is plummeting. Moving to the negative impacts of the Industrial Revolution 4.0, there will be a massive industrialization, cyber security risk increases, rapid migration of people for better opportunity and clustering at one place, which leads to environmental imbalance. Not only that, there will be a reduction in income for households as most of the jobs are taken by automotive and robotic technology. Okay, now let's move on to the most important part of the video which is where are the changes happening in Malaysia due to this industrial revolution and how are Malaysia coping up with the challenges that arises. Let's start with the movement of Education 4.0 in Malaysian education system. It started when former Higher Education Minister Datuk Sri Idris Busso highlighted the theme of Higher Education 4.0, Knowledge, Industry and Humanity in 2018. The integration of IR 4.0 in Malaysian higher education system will help the learning institutions to stay relevant and competitive in the dawning of Industry 4.0. Higher learning institutions are urged to revamp their education system and take initiative to embrace the Teaching and Learning 4.0. One of the foundations of Teaching and Learning 4.0 is the advanced uses of technology such as cloud computing, hologram, multi-touch LCD screen, Internet of Things, IoT, QR code, and so forth. Unexpectedly, this COVID-19 pandemic acts as a catalyst to speed up the growth of IR 4.0 in Malaysia. Students are much more familiar with the QR code, IoT and cloud computing. There has been a doubt whether lessons can be done via online for a longer period of time and this pandemic has clearly proven that we can conduct classes virtually and many students have successfully completed their semesters virtually. Moving on to the agriculture sector, the government has introduced the Agriculture 4.0 as one of the strategies to increase its productivity, efficiency and competitiveness. The focus is on the capacity building and providing infrastructure that could speed up the application of digital technology in Malaysia. There are a few notable agricultural challenges in Malaysia such as crop yields are dependent on unpredictable weather conditions. Majority of farmers are now aged around 60 years old and natural disasters such as flood. All the issues can be solved via IR 4.0 and Malaysia has started their progress in solving it. For instance, technologies such as IoT sensors and drones will be implemented in the fields to record environmental conditions and the data will be fed to weather forecasting. Artificial intelligent tools are used to make agricultural decision making process efficient and cost effective. Furthermore, dependence on labor may be reduced. 
Crop and soil inspections will be conducted by drones and data to be channeled wirelessly in real time. Maldi is also conducting research and development for applications in plant factory with artificial lighting, which is known as PFAL. This setup not only allows plants such as vegetables and fruity plants to receive nutrients, moisture and lightning in a controlled manner, but also provides a clean and pest-free environment for plants to thrive. Research in this area that is conducted by Mardi includes generating innovations and integration of available technology in areas of building structure, seeding system, multi-tire hydroponic system, LED lighting design, IoT-based control and monitoring system, standard operating procedures SOP for management of pests and diseases, post-harvest management system, and waste management. Application and integration of robotic actuators for automation is also being conducted in Maldi. The robot assisted harvesting system consists of a collaborative robot, which is known as Cobot, 3D camera, and soft grippers for application in harvest of tomatoes and melons. This 3D camera will provide essential harvest data such as color and shape that will be analyzed using machine learning to determine optimal harvest rates. When paired with the gantry system, the harvesting automation cycle is completed by employing a gantry system to deliver plant pots to the harvesting robot and bag. Next is the advancement in telecommunications industry. A 5G task force is formed with participation of policy makers, industry and academia as a platform for this course and recently numerous trial centers and test beds deployments are made in selected areas to provide demonstration of the network capabilities. With blockchain capabilities fixed into the food production system, market participants, authorities and consumers will have access to transparent and decentralized information on food such as its origin, agriculture practice and price. DSDE chain was launched by a homegrown agrotech firm DST Capital Limited to provide blockchain based distributed ledger technologies service for the agricultural chain where data of farmers, plantation, logistics of food processing, transportation, retail and consumer can be traced to ensure transparency and increase efficiency of food production. Moving on with the transport industry in Malaysia. Developing a self-driving car used to be a topic in which only big automotive companies such as Tesla, Toyota and Nissan invest billions of dollars to make possible. Yet, Raker, a small R&D company from Malaysia that consists of less than 20 employees, takes a step inside this game, introducing different approaches on a self-driving car system. Reka developed greater and apparatus retrofitting on a human driven vehicle to achieve level 4 autonomous vehicle. Reka's self driving car is still under development and looking for pledges to support the innovation. However, the system itself has already been tested on the road and a proof of concept is verified. There are also challenges that need to be overcome from the perspective of political, economic and social. Looking on the political view, there is a lack of regulation, standards and forms of certifications on IR 4.0. The government must update on the updates of IR 4.0 in their website for the consumers to view and have a better understanding on it. Next, according to Economic Wise, there is a high risk because it requires huge amount of investment approach for the transformation towards Industry 4.0. In terms of social, it may help employment rates to go up, but it will also alienate a big sector workers due to automatic processes and IT control processes taken over their job. Not only that, lack of technology innovation in certain sectors are also one of the challenges that has to be faced by Malaysians. It is due to the lack of adequate skills to expedite the transition towards a fourth industrial revolution. 
There are some solutions that have been suggested to overcome those stated problems such as innovation and technology development programs would be instrumental in assisting farmers and SMEs to increase productivity, drive efficiency and boost the growth. Not only that, the government should increase the number of high-skill workers in Malaysia's workforce at, at the same time, tighten up entry of low-skill workers into the workforce in order to meet the demands of the future economy. Besides, a complete change of mindset is needed to adapt and expand the market through digital platforms such as Facebook, Quora, Twitter and so forth. To conclude, Malaysia is keen to embrace adoption of IR 4.0 to urge its socio-economic development and achieve high-income nation status. To overcome all those challenges, it needs dedication and collaboration from government and private sectors. Government may do more on the education for next coming wave of workforce and implement more programs and funds to assist the development of Industry 4.0. Malaysia should look forward on how to normalize the IR 4.0 among consumers and use this wonderful opportunity to discover more talents and the products of creativity of citizens. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.